What's up fellow travelers? Welcome back on my channel. My name is Sarah and here we talk about nomadic life and travel. Today we're gonna discover together the ultimate way to travel from Bangkok down to Koh Phangan, one of the most beautiful islands of Thailand. I will bring you with me along the journey to give you a POV about the whole experience and ultimately I will show you where to stay in Koh Phangan. Let's start with the basic. There are different options to go from Bangkok to Koh Phangan, but the most efficient and most chosen option is a mix between taking a bus and a ferry. First thing first, you need a ticket. I always use one to go Asia, which is a website that allows you to book uh, the trains or ferries to reach different locations around Southeast Asia. I will leave the link of the website down below. Another way to get a ticket is to go directly to a bus station and check if they have the ticket for the destination you are looking for. Often one to go Asia is slightly more expensive than go directly to a local bus stop but it take away the time and the stress of having to actually go. In this case uh, to go from Bangkok to Koh Phangan it cost us 41 euro plus minus and uh, we are able to get with us a big luggage that we can put under the bus and then keep with us a daily backpack. The total journey from Bangkok to Koh Phangan was of 14 hours. Hours. First 12 hours are the one that goes through the night which uh, goes from Bangkok down to Suratani which is the village closer to the pier then from Suratani to the pier it was another hour of drive with another small bus and then from Suratani to Kopangan island it took us another one hour of uh, ferry the bus terminal in this case was the southern terminal Bangkok which is about 20 minutes away from Bangkok center in fact in order to reach it we had to take a grab I haven't filmed at the southern terminal because I was honestly completely and go away from the night before. <laughs> Just arrived, we did a very fast check-in and then we headed to 7-Eleven which was inside the certain terminal to get some snack for the bus. Usually in this bus journey they already give you water and in this case they also give us pillow and a comfy blanket. Ah and also cookies and this is something very very special. There are some tips and tricks that I feel to recommend you to follow. The first one is that even though you are thirsty avoid drinking too much water on the bus because then you will need to go to the toilet and yes there is always a toilet on the bus but uh, yeah it's not the best one so I will recommend you to avoid drinking too much you know but of course if you're thirsty and you want to drink and then you need to go to the toilet please always have with you in your backpack and not only for the bus journey but in general when you travel in Southeast Asia always have with you some toilet paper since you're gonna spend a long time in this bus uh, it would be great for you to have some comfy clothes I always like to travel with my trainers with a white t-shirt and my pulley and uh, that's it last but not least of course grab some snack because this journey is long you might get hungry you might get bored and when you're bored at least I got hungry and of course if you need some entertainment download before some Netflix or your favorite playlist on Spotify because even though some buses said that they have Wi-Fi on board usually it never works the bus usually do a stop during the night and this one was at 1 a.m. you can get some food and in this case we also got a voucher for a free food but I was just too sleepy so I just went to the toilet something to consider is that in these sleeping buses you really won't get a night of sleep so if you are worried about that I will recommend you to get some sleeping pills for the journey after 12 lovely hours on the sleeping bus uh, we arrive around 6 a.m on Suratan, the small village where we had to do another check-in for the second part of the journey in this place they give us some sticker with the name of the island that we are gonna go because around the Kopangan there are different islands such as Koh Samui and Koh Tao so it's important that they divided all the travel base on the plate that it goes and we wait us for the van that will bring us to the pier and so this is how the journey went the bus seems to have seen better times we are on the second bus of the day and we are going to go in the direction of the pier the journey I hope is going to be not too long because we are all pretty tired a few minutes later bus is broken so we're just stopping around the middle of the street and we are just jumping up on some van 
You didn't miss that. <laughs> Not really gonna fit into this one. What do you guys think about this? Uncle? I can't believe it. That's so classic. So classic. Yeah. yeah. Could have just stayed on the street and passed all the way to the fair. This is very fancy. <laughs> Okay, now I'm glad that the other bus broken. We oh. elevate the class. All right. Let's take a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you get that one? First? We missed the ferry, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey, apparently, we were supposed to arrive in uh, Copagan at 10 30. But I think this is <laughs> not go. gonna happen. <laughs> okay, we made it. Apparently, we will have a boat at 9 30. Um, I actually have no clue what time is it. My phone is almost dead. <laughs> Hello! This boat is really big so you won't really feel the motion sickness but if you are still a person that feels it a lot I will recommend you to go to 7-eleven and get some motion sickness pills I mean 7-eleven will be your lifesaver every time it's pretty windy I would say there is a auto wind that pass through which is very nice they even have vending machine on the boat this is the first time that I saw them I got an auto border yeah whatever Two toilets. Okay, here we have an amazing mirror which is really dirty. Water, working view on the ocean. Sanitizer, which is empty. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, squat toilet, it's very dirty. The other toilet is a normal one. Even though the squatting toilet looks very uncomfortable, I promise you that they are the most clean because you actually don't touch anywhere. Apparently, down there, there is already Copangan. After such a long journey, you feel all smelly and Sticky and sweaty, and yeah, it's just at least I just want to go home and take a shower. Very random. <laughs> Once on the island, there are different uh, ways to reach your hotel. You can get a taxi, you can get a tuk tuk, but for us, it's important to get a scooter. We got this bike for 300 baht, which is about $9 per day. Now we try to find a way to carry everything on this bike. Yeah. Let's see if it works. Okay. Go, hold on. If you're wondering which part of the island stays, I recommend uh, Tong Sala, which is based on the southern part of the island where all the nightlife and life in general is happening. Okay, we were able to arrive to the hostel, but the problem is like we lost a wheel, it melted. So here we have the entrance, the electricity turned on by putting the key in the proper place. We got two twins bed, light, a lot of uh, socket i would say clean towel two towel actually big mirror big desk a huge wardrobe fridge with water and a glass of wine this i'm not sure a shower gel here we have toilet which is very clean very basic but just need that shower double shower actually we have the water for shower and a normal one i'm very curious to test the pressure because that's always very important when traveling what's very curious about this room is that we have an extra room, randomly placed it here, which I guess, yeah, we will use for us another type of wardrobe without putting the things in the normal wardrobe in order to make it look uh, messy. The smoking. <laughs> okay, that is the first time that I've ever seen it. A waiver. Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, in Thailand, uh, it's legal. So actually, this is the smoking room. We can try out some hot box. 
I hope you got all the information you needed to go from Bangkok down to Koh Phangan. And if you have any question left, let me know down in the comments. So if you like this video, like and subscribe as always. And I will see you next Sunday with a video about what to do in Koh Phangan and more nomad life. Bye guys! <laughs>